on the road and hungry for a win against an Eastern Conference rival. The Milwaukee Bucks are ready for this thing to get started. We're at the Amway Center, Orlando, and the fans are cheering for their magic. Hi, everyone. I'm Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Happy to have you along for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. And our State Farm starting lineups. Here's a look. And as we take a look here at Glenn Davis, guys, what do you think? Well, Big Baby has that football build. 6'9", close to 300 pounds, but he's surprisingly light on his feet for such a big guy. And he's got a nice touch on that jump shot as well. Yeah, nice touch and good mobility and a lot like those tree trunk guys when he, he sets a screen. Good luck in getting through that. Wow. So the Bucks win the tip. Knight dishes Duilius over. Ball's not loose. Nelson against Knight. Here's ABC. Tries it from 19. Ilyasova comes up with the rebound. I think Ersan Ilyasova was one of the unknown stories from a year ago, but he was fantastic. Rebounded the ball really well. And how about the one game? He had 29 points and 25 boards. One of the best performances all season. And so the Milwaukee Bucks get the first points of the ball game. It's rebounded by Ilyasova. Harris kicks to Davis. He drains the quick shot. And just about a minute into the first quarter. And guys, you know, when you take a look at Ilya Sova, he's unusual among pick and pop big men in that he likes contact. He's not just looking to stand out there and shoot threes after he sets a screen. Even though he's 235 pounds, that's not super big. He'll get in there and fight with the big boys. Here are the Magic now. Brandon Knight getting it to go from deep. Gets it to go. Milwaukee with the ball. Doris Burke had a chance to catch up with head coach Scott Skiles. And uh, Doris, what did he have to say? Kevin, he said in a matchup of teams that appear to have such similar talent, it usually comes down to which side is willing to be more aggressive. That's the message he tried to make very clear to his team before they hit the floor. Will they be assertive to start? We'll see. All right, Doris, it's probably one of those games, guys, right, that's pretty hard to tell which way it might go, huh? Oh, I have no idea who's going to win this game. Uh, evenly matched clubs, uh, both very talented, should be fun, and I can't wait to see it. Well, we never have an idea of who's going to win the game. We only have our opinions for the most part, guys, but this one certainly is shaping up as one that will be too close to call. You know, the Bucks know they have sufficient talent and were right in the mix of it last year. Ended up making a playoff push but came up four games short of securing that eighth seed. And had things gone a little differently, particularly on the road, they might have been able to get it done. Sure. Here is Nelson following the bucket by the Bucks. Here's ABC. Cannot hit. Excellent D there for Mayo. He's laboring out there right now, guys. The shot has not been falling for him this quarter. The defense caught dozing off that time. Now those open dunks, pretty high percentage. Yeah, you're not going to miss many of those. I mean, this is uh, really a poor defensive effort. Clark, you look back at the Bucks season, they were injured and they were missing players. And had they been healthy, there was a pretty good chance they would have been a playoff team in the Eastern Conference. That's right. Steve? Well, you know how that goes. I mean, health is a factor every year. And uh, sometimes the breaks go your way, sometimes they don't. But I think it's going to be important for Milwaukee this season. I mean, they don't have a huge margin for error, so they've got to stay healthy if they're going to get back to the playoffs. The Magic trail by three. Nelson outside. Back to Davis. Good luck. It's rebounded by Ilyasova. Ilyasova's got three rebounds so far in the game. And up the court come the Magic on the break. Here's his oh, 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 oh. Boy, how about that athleticism? I mean, it's unreal how high he can get up off the ground. Yeah, he was soaring to the rim. He is one of a kind, no doubt about that. Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. The Bucks have gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. And here's Mayo from the arc. Gets it to go. Well, he wasn't going to miss that. I mean, they were way too late to get to him out there. Nelson, the pass to Vucevic. And here's the fast break. Knight leading the way. Boy, that happened fast. Just the immediate bucket off the steal. 
Well, one of the things they have is the ability to score quickly after a turnover. And now the first time out called here for the matchup. It's not very often, but every now and then a player will throw his teammates under the bus. Happened last year here in Orlando with Dwight Howard. Both teams will make substitutions. One eleven left in the first quarter. And now it's Neal running. He can go all the way. Put that paw up there and banged it home. Yeah, Man, that was nice. Little Statue of Liberty. Yeah, right. that was strong. Mm, simple, direct, and effective. The pass to Lamb. Shot to stop the run. And it's good. Lamb's got his first bucket in this one. Clark, you brought the comments from Dwight Howard from last year. It very much hinted that his teammates were the problem and not him as the reason for the Magic's struggles. Steve, how do you assess that thing? <laughs> well, that's never going to work because now you've got a whole team full of guys who uh, feel slighted by their star. And they, they had all kinds of issues a season ago just with all that drama with Howard, and, and it showed. I mean, that team was talented and yet bowed out in the first round. Both teams deciding to change it up. Bucks leading by six. It's Mayo on the wing. He's guarded by a follow. Mayo dishing tonight. Ilyasova. And Abamute kicks to Ilyasova. Six on the shot clock. He feeds it to Emba Amute. Count that one. Emba Amute has got ten. Now a follow. Over Mayo. Offline from the high post. Can't get it to go. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. 